and welcome back to the Create Mod here on Music Free Gaming. It is great to have you back, and I'm over here at my redstone factory. Now that I have 18 trillion belts, or, you know, probably somewhat less than that, but enough belts that I can really go ham getting my redstone factory in place. So the next things I'm going to be throwing in here are uh, droppers and dispensers. And... Dispensers, of course, require bows, so there's going to be a third module in here, too. And then, depending on time, maybe there'll be something else? Who knows? We'll get to it and see what happens. Once again, I'm going to be using a mechanical crafter, because that's pretty much the only way you can automate bow production. And I've got a couple of things set up here. First off, I've got a couple of these uh, tunnels, which actually, now that I look at them, Realize I've been building these backwards. String is going to come into this one, and sticks are going to come into this one. What will happen, I don't have the tunnels in yet, or the funnels in yet, but the uh, sticks will come up, get sucked into this vault, or into that chest. And then, they'll get fed down into the crafter. So on the stick side, it'll go into this one, this one and this one all right cool so with this with the string what will happen is the string i'm gonna i'll put the hoppers in in a minute but they'll go in like that now that's the recipe for a bow right if i were to come over here to this crafting table and i look at the the recipe here for a bow that's it but the problem is the crafter is still sitting here thinking oh wait i need something so what you do is you slap one of these slot covers on there, and now it knows it doesn't have to wait anymore. And there's the crafted bow. So what I'll do is I'll set up another hopper connected to this vault, and then that's where the output will go. And of course, then I'll set a funnel up here and all that good stuff, right? So that is the plan. This should be uh, this should be fairly good. So let me go ahead and I'll get. Uh, these hoppers in place they'll just slap down like this and things are going to be great i want to show you something this is this actually kind of cool right now you've seen this before i've done this all over the place right you've got the content or the stockpile switch right with the radio on it that says hey um dude i'm empty send me stuff right i've used it here i used it all over the place well what I've got all, through all of this mess is basically talking locally, right? If I need sticks, the stick crafting with thingamajobber uh, is over here, right? But let's talk about string for a minute, right? I don't have anything over here that produces string, right? I don't have a wool farm right here. I don't have a mob grinder, spider farm. But I do have one of those things way over there, right? That's that whole uh, mob farm, wool farm combo that I was working on a while back. So rather than craft string over here, I'm using my train setup so that it will say, hey, I need string. So what, you, what I'll do is let me go and turn this on for a minute. In fact, I can turn this one on too. And now, boom, there goes one of my trucks. Actually, there goes two of my trucks. <laughs> They're going to run out and run over to the uh, mob grinder and wool farm and pick up string. All right, one of the trucks is back. There it goes. And what we should start to see, yeah, here comes the string. And boom, now it's getting sucked right on up. Yeah, right on up into this chest and then being fed down Right there it is. You can see it being fed into the hoppers. So perfect. We are good to go here. Now I've got it. Oh, there it goes. You can see that it's now starting to craft bows and stuff. Now, obviously, I'm running out of space here. So let's go ahead and pump that into this guy. Now, I do need to rig that up to a stop switch of some sort, which I have not done yet. Uh, but that is awesome. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, turn these guys off for the moment so that they'll stop calling for 
materials and, you know, stop crafting all of the, the bows. But the machine works. I just need to uh, turn the sucker off. All right, I think I've got all of the shutoff system in place. Got a stockpile switch wired up right here. So the redstone will light up this uh, clutch. So I'll go ahead and, well, help if I put it in the right place. But now it's set. I also expanded the size of the vault just to make some of the uh, moving stuff around easier. So that's awesome. And also because, remember, bows are not stackable. So this vault, which holds 20 per block times 9, right? It's 180 bows. Which is not nearly as much as some other things. But it's also why I have the stockpile switch turned up a lot higher than I might have in, uh, like in the case of the sticks or the redstone torches that are happening over there. So this is good, and now, right now, nothing's happening because I've got this set to, uh, well, right, I've got a radio set, so it's locking the the hopper, or the thing, the, the, the funnel. That's it, that's the word. But if I break that, yeah, you can see a couple of bows got shot out, which is fine. So this is working great. Oh, this is going to be so nice. So now I need to build basically, well, I need to build a new machine. One for the droppers, one for the dispensers. Those are going to be nearly identical except for the bow that goes in the middle. So that's going to be all sorts of fun. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I had a wandering trader show up up there while I was working on things. And it ended up on the conveyor belt up here. And is now dropped down into the feed line for my storage. Now, it doesn't actually affect anything. He's just going to stand there forever. But he's going to stand there forever. Or until he despawns here in, you know, an hour or something like that. But, uh, all right. I guess I now have a wandering trader preserve. Cool. And there is my... Happy, happy dropper sorter. Now, the way this thing is going to work, right? It's going to work just like everything else is. I get the clutch wired up. So I've got it set up. So I'm going to bring cobblestone up this way. And you can see there's the U shape of your typical uh, dro dropper crafting recipe. Or maybe it's an N shape. Whatever it is, it's these seven blocks. The redstone goes in here, right? It goes in this bottom. And then just like I did on the bow machine, is that a bow flex? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> just like on the bow machine, I've got to leave this gap empty. So we'll just uh, drop that in there. So I've got the, the thing in place to keep that from being used. And now, I want to point out something kind of fun here. So, just like over on this machine, right, I I need redstone. In fact, I can turn that on. So, it should be calling for redstone, which uh, it is. Unfortunately, the redstone is getting caught up up here. That is going to be a, a slight problem. <laughs> and by slight, I mean kind of large actually but the other side of it is cobblestone so the cobblestone i've got some in storage i've got some bulk storage over there but i figured given the way all of my my uh, belts are running why not just call for it from the cobblestone generator so that it will always fill up over there and what will happen is the trains will drop it off it'll come in here and swings out that way first before it comes down and ends up in bulk storage. So this way, I can just say, hey, go get me some cobblestone. And the trucks will run off. There they go. They'll get some cobble and it will start to fill this up. So that's going to be really convenient. And hence, 
the reason I have a cobblestone generator. So I want to talk a minute about my redstone problem, right? I'm calling for redstone, but I'm not getting any. It's all coming up into this barrel. See, what I, I've got these tunnels, which allow the stuff to split off, and that's great. The problem is I don't have anything locking them. So I, it's just going to suck up all of the redstone until this barrel is full, right? Well, unfortunately, it's actually going to be the same problem over here, just twice as bad. Because once that barrel is full, then the redstone is going to come over here and want to fill this chest. Well, for just the droppers, that's no big deal. Okay, every one redstone gives me one dropper. But I've got other redstone things that are going to come out here. I've got dispensers, eventually observers, all that stuff, which is all going to need redstone, which means I'm going to have to fill up every single one of these chests or barrels or whatever. And I just, that that's going to be a problem because the only way I have of getting redstone, short of mining it, is through villager trades. And that long-term is not going to be a viable solution. So I think that's going to be a problem for future me. But the uh, basics of how this is actually going to work, though, should all be, all be the good, all be the same. So I'm just going to have to figure out a better source for redstone. There's one other consideration for this setup that is really only relevant if you don't have a cobblestone generator. And it's the same sort of problem I have over here with the sticks and the string, is that in order for this to fill up with all of the cobblestone, is it has to fill up all of these hoppers, right? That one's full because there's nothing below it. These guys, it all gets sucked down into the hoppers below first. With a cobblestone generator like I have, this is honestly not a big deal. It just means it's going to take a few minutes to prime the mechanism here, right? Because it has to fill up all of these hoppers. Once these are full, this guy is just going to run like nothing. Right? Everything is going to be there. It's just going to fill up and it's going to be great. So if you're looking to set this up in your own world, uh, just be aware that you really are going to need a lot of cobblestone just to sort of prime the pump, so to speak, to make this thing go. But after that, you'll be golden. All right, the pump has been primed, so to speak. And now you can start seeing the little smiley face droppers as they start showing up there. And they're going to start filling up the, the thing here. Now, honestly, I could probably dial this down because I'm not going to need that many... Um, I'm not going to need that many droppers, right? I had it high for the bows because, again, not stackable. But the droppers are, are, they are stackable. So I'm going to dial this back down. In fact, I think I'm going to stop at like 15% even. That should be more than enough. And I'll just uh, get this set up. I don't have the signal to request them or the funnel up front yet. But this thing is going to happily make droppers all day, which is great. The next bit, which is going to be a, a bit more of a challenge, is going to be the, the dispenser. The first part of the dispenser factory is in place. Same type of thing as the dropper. Got the 3x3 three three mechanical crafting grid. No big deal. But dispensers have a little bit of a challenge, right? Let's jump over here to a crafting table for a minute. And let's look at the recipe for a dispenser, right? It's the cobblestone, bow in the middle, redstone dust underneath, right? Okay, no big deal. Except the hoppers, right? So I can't run the, the bow and the redstone down on the same side because the bows will get sucked into the redstone thing potentially and then clog up the machine, and I don't want that. So what I'm doing is I'm only pulling in the bows on this side. So they get sucked down and they go through here. Over here on the back side, there's still that big you know, archway of cobblestone. But I'm going to bring the redstone in through these hoppers. 
so they feed this bottom dealy bob right there then just grab the chutes so it'll pull down from the chests up there load up these hoppers with redstone and we'll be good to go so in theory everything here should be good now because of some redstone issues I'm actually gonna steal a little bit of redstone from the dropper the dropper hopper yes <laughs> unintentional rhyming is the best rhyming anyway I'm gonna steal some of that and oh, I need I also need to get the uh, redstone links in place and then I'm gonna go ahead and try this and see if it works and everything is set up and ready I've got the uh, hoppers are getting primed with cobblestone I've got bows coming in as I mentioned redstone's a problem let's go ahead and just throw a stack in there just to uh, let it go and boom there you go you can see the see the droppers getting or dispensers being crafted and now they're all gonna get shoved in here so I now have very fast uh, dispenser making so for the time being right I can still throw redstone up manually um, either I can come in here and just drop it in this hopper or in this chest or I can feed it along the line I just really am gonna have to come up with a good way of getting redstone fortunately that's that's totally a thing um, there is a recipe for making redstone it just has a lot of steps so I'm gonna have to look at how that goes but for now this is great that I'm thrilled to have so many dispensers at my uh, beck and call and that is gonna be it for me today this has been great I am excited to never craft another dispenser in this world <laughs> that is gonna be fabulous and uh, until next time be sure like the video subscribe you know all that good stuff and uh, be excellent to each other and this is music free gaming signing off